Today I'm doing a 4th of July makeup look. I'm using a lot of new products that I've never used before. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great Independence Day. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Since it's summer, I wanted to look really hydrated and glowy, so I primed with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then I prepped my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime. And lastly, used a Lorac eyeshadow primer and applied some tape. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Meat Matte Trimony by The Balm. I'm going to start with this matte lane color and apply it all over the eyelid just to set that primer. For my transition shade, I'm going to use the Matte Rossi and apply this right above my crease. Then I'm taking a harder, smaller brush and dipping into the matte Kumar and applying this right underneath that transition shade. This is going to add a little red and give some more dimension to the look. For under the brow highlight, I'm using the Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette in the color Satin Sheets and just applying this underneath the eyebrow. To get a nice pigment, I'm spraying my brush with um, primer water and then dipping into my favorite color, Cafe Olay, in this palette. And then I'm going to dab it on my lid. So you really want to use dabbing, patting motions here, not so much spreading. To smoke out the eye, I'm using this True Isaac Mazzari in the shade Pavement. It's this really pretty navy eyeshadow, and I actually really like the formula of this eyeshadow. Very pleased. I'm lining my eye with the Scone Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner. I really like this because it's a very precise tip and it's very dark and pigmented. So I'm just going to wing out my eyeliner along the tape line and then we'll take the tape off. For a glowing from within look, I'm going to be using the M by Michelle Pham Makeup Mood Enhancer Illuminating Skin Filter. And this is in the color Golden Candlelight. And I'm applying this under my foundation with a beauty blender just so that it shines through and kind of makes me look more glowy. For foundation today, I'm using the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation, which is one of my favorites for the summer, and applying this with a beauty blender. I'm going to conceal with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer Stick and apply this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, and then on the top and bottom of my lips. After we blend this out, we're going to bake with the RCMA No Color Powder. And I don't know if you guys saw Jacqueline Hill's video on baking, but I didn't know that it was actually something being done by drag queens. And the way it works is it basically doesn't let your skin breathe or anything escape from that area of your skin that you have the powder on top, so it really like soaks in there and stays. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna apply the Eyelore Texture Lashes 
and then I'm just going to wipe off the excess powder from underneath my eyes. To line the bottom of the eye, I'm going to start with the matte Kumar and just apply this really tight to the waterline. I love using red and orange shades as a base on the um, bottom of the eyelid because it just like pops out and just looks really pretty. Then I'm going to go in with the color pavement again and just apply this to the outer corner of the eye to kind of extend that smokiness down into the lower lid. For a light contour, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. This is in the color Bronzed and it was my first time using it and it is super pigmented so I had to blend a lot because I definitely applied way too much. But um, I like it for a summer contour because it's not as heavy as a cream and I think it looks really nice. For blush, I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks in the color Peach Pink. It's a really pretty color for the summer and I like how it turned out with this look. For 4th of July highlight, there can be none other than Sin by Urban Decay. It is my absolute favorite, so I'm just going to apply this with a fan brush on the top of my cheeks, down my nose, and then around my lips. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Rich Blood and apply this to the center of my lips to make it look more puckered when we put another shade on top. So on top of that, we're going to put Anna Nicole, which is my all-time favorite summer coral color. And you can just see how having the Rich Blood underneath makes the center of your lips stand out and just make them look bigger and puffier and pretty. Last thing I'm going to do is set my makeup with the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control from Urban Decay and then the look is complete. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.